Unit 6. Recording 3. 1. It's a trend that started in the States and spread certainly in Europe. And it's when guys wear their jeans halfway down their hips so you can see their underwear. Apparently, it all started in the prison system in the States. What happened was that prisoners aren't allowed to wear belts because these can be used as a weapon. And the prison uniforms were often too big for the inmates. So you'd have a little guy wearing a huge baggy pair of prison issue trousers. And so the prisoners ended up with these trousers halfway down their legs. So the trend has its roots in the prison system. But somehow it spread beyond those walls. So rappers like Ice T started wearing their trousers like this. And it led to widespread adoption of the style. It's known in some parts as a kind of gangster look because obviously it originated in prison. But actually, it's pretty common now amongst young people. So basically, it's crossed over into the mainstream. And I guess this is how fashions start and spread because they kind of come from nowhere, out of the blue. And then early adopters, I think they're called, help to make them fashionable. And suddenly, you've got a trend. Two. As a TV producer, I've obviously looked at the trend of reality TV. It all started to take off in the 90s with the emergence of programmes like Big Brother and Pop Idol. But actually, I'd say it originated from earlier programmes, stuff that was done in the 70s and 80s. I think the popularity of these shows has caused a big shift in how programmes are made. Production values are quite low, and the emphasis is now on making something cheap and quick. Because of this, TV companies make bigger profits, and it's this that resulted in these shows spreading around the world. So, what I'm really saying is, we'll keep making these programs now until the,、um, the public tires of them. And it's because of the public's taste for knowing about real people and real lives.